Hey, hey, it's your sister from another Mr. Lovely Fly Shy back with another video, you all. Listen, I'm going to have to, um, I'm not going to rush it, you know, because I do have 13 minutes, but um, I have somewhere to be. All right, so I want to talk to you all about um, addiction. This is a message strictly for the chosen ones who still find themselves dealing with and suffering from addiction. I received an email um and this person knows who they are but um just to protect their privacy i'm not going to say who it is but i received an email stating can i be chosen and be living with an addiction um my answer is yes you can be chosen living with an addiction if you acknowledge and have taken accountability for said addiction and have taking the necessary steps to rectify that addiction okay god is saying to you today i need you to set it down and i need you to run from it whatever that addiction is whatever addiction you may be dealing with in this season god is saying i need you to set it down and run from it run from it with all your life and do not look back do not look back Bring all your problems, bring all your addictions, all your worries, all your stressors to the most high God of all things and watch how your life changes. The most high is saying a lot of you aren't praying right now. You need to be praying. You cannot do this alone. You were not meant and or intended to do it alone. You have a whole force behind you and camped around you, here for you, all right? healing needs to be done all right um accountability needs to be taken all right because we are not weaklings we are not docile we are not helpless or powerless we are we supersede over any addiction or any temptation that comes our way it really and solely is up to us whether or not we want to partake in the said addiction and i understand as someone who is recovering right along with you all from not only a gambling addiction but an alcohol addiction just to name a few right and i'm going to be honest and transparent with you all i'm never going to come at you guys as if i am perfect because i am not i'm not going to come at you all as if i am doing everything right and i'm just living just this perfect life free of sin because i'd be lying but I want you to know that you can still be chosen while dealing with and putting an effort into rectifying thus addiction and freeing yourself from it with the help of the Most High God. See, a lot of you remain stuck in it because you are not taking it to God. You are not setting it down and running from it. Yes, you are not setting it down and running from it. You keep picking it up. You keep picking it up, knowing that it is destroying you slowly, knowing that it is, it is disconnecting you from the most high God. And God is saying that I don't want to let you go. God does not want to let you go. Take your troubles, your problems, your stressors to the most high. Pray. A lot of you need to become true prayer warriors as you were intended to be. Pray, give yourself more credit than what you give yourself. You are not weak. You are not docile. You are not powerless. All right, um, many of you could be dealing still with gambling addiction, pill addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction. Whatever your addiction is, you could be addicted to food, shopping, money, whatever. But the Most High is saying, I need you to set it down right in front of you and run from it. I need you to run from it. Run with all your might. Run as fast as you can. And don't look back. You see, some of you are still looking back. You're still looking back. You're still trying to numb yourself. And the Most High is saying, what you're trying to numb, you need to give attention to. What you're trying to run from, you need to give attention to. That is the only way that you, with the help of the Most High, can free yourself from any addiction that you may face. You are fully capable of freeing yourself. I still get lots of loads of comments on my um, 
gambling addiction video from last year that I posted. You all go check it out. It's um, titled Gambling, Gambling Addiction, I believe part three or four, one of the two, but it's titled Gambling Addiction, um, Gambling Almost Killed My Life, or almost, wait, oh no, no, it's almost killed me. <laughs> my apologies, you guys. I make so many videos, it's hard to keep up sometimes, but <clears throat> needless to say, you all, a lot of you ask me, how did you stop gambling? I got tired. I got tired of losing. I got tired of being without money. I got tired of robbing Peter to pay Paul. I got tired of being the tail and not the head. I got tired of being the borrower and not the lender. I got tired. I got tired of giving all of my energy and my life force, my financial means to a damn casino, to an establishment that is already established and that is feeding off of the energy and off of the temptation that is set beyond uh, before us, all right? Um, you know, addiction is real. It is real. And I'm not looking down on anyone. I'm not judging you because I've been through it. How can I judge or look down upon something that I've been through? Come on now. Again, I'm not perfect. But I'm just letting you know that you are capable of freeing yourself. You are capable of being free from gambling, uh, um, sex addiction, drinking, drugs, whatever. You, are, you can free yourself from it. But you have to want that freedom. You see, when I was deep and knee thick, knee high in my addictions, I was always like, oh, woe is me. This isn't my fault. And oh, well, maybe my mama wouldn't have gambled. And maybe she wouldn't have showed us this. And maybe she wouldn't have brought us to Vegas. And maybe I wouldn't have never. And we'll do. No, it's you. You chose to do what it is that you were doing. I know a lot of people ain't going to like this. But like I said in the previous video, sometimes it's not them. Sometimes it's not that abuse you suffered in your childhood. That's what you're using as a crutch to continue to do what you were doing. You don't got to be who you are today. You don't got to live the way you were living today. You can do better. You can be better. But you got to know better. Yes. If you want to free yourself, free yourself. Free yourself. The path is free and clear for you to choose. To choose that enough is enough. I don't want to be an addict anymore. I don't want to be addicted to anything or anyone anymore. I want to live righteously. I want to free myself from all of the limitations and the negative self-belief systems that I have been indoctrinated to believe of myself. I have become free. I want to be free. I want to be healed. You all have to decree and declare that over your life. You see, there is power of life and death in the tongue and what you speak over yourself shall be. All right, a lot of you ask, how did you do it? I'm telling you and I'm showing you how I did it because I believed in myself. I believed in my creator, right? I believed in what it was that was installed in me. I no longer have to live as an addict. I no longer have to live a docile life without substance, without meaning. Now I live a life of meaning, right? Now I am prospering. Now I am abundant. Now I am wealthy in spirit first and foremost. You all, you have to choose and you have to declare and decree that, you know what? I am tired. I am done. Enough is enough. You don't need alcohol. You don't need to gamble. You don't need drugs. All you need is the most high creator of all things. That's all. All right. And I'm not yelling at you all. I'm not trying to be rude. But I don't want to see anybody suffer. And that is where my emotion is coming from. Because I know how it feels to gamble your last goddamn thousand dollars, your last four thousand dollars, your last five thousand dollars. And now you're looking stupid, stuck like Chuck. Wondering how you're finna pay the light bill. Wondering how you're finna keep your phone on. Wondering how you're finna pay the bill collectors. Wondering how you're finna pay the rent. I got tired of that. I got tired of it. It was imperative that I put myself in a position to stop being addicted. 
You see, most times, you know, we, we pick up these vices, again, to numb ourselves. But in, 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 in excuse me, <clears throat> in order to face what it is that has broken us, what it is that has harmed us, what it is that was traumatic to, to us. We have to take that accountability and responsibility of ourselves first. We cannot blame no longer what happened in our childhoods. We are adults now. We are grown now. We are making our own decisions now. It is truly up to us. And if we choose to lose, guess whose fault that is? Yours. No one else's. Hence why I'm here to tell you, only you can change your life. Only you can get fed up. Only you can decide enough is enough. I want better with my life. I know that this is not what the, God, the most high God designed for me and intended for me. I know that I'm supposed to be living better. I know that I'm supposed to be doing better. I know that I'm supposed to be elevating. I know that I'm not supposed to be here in my current state. I know that I deserve more. You all have to declare and decree that over your life today. Today. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you want to be exalted, if you want change, if you want transformation, healing, you got to seek it with everything in you. You got to fight that demon, fight that devil, fight those adversaries with everything in you. And I mean, you got to fight hard for it. You got to fight hard for your redemption, for your vindication. For your exaltation, you have to fight hard for it, you all. You cannot, you cannot give in to the enemy's devices. The enemy seeks to kill, steal, and destroy you, chosen one. So for the person who sent me this email, I want you to know that it is ultimately up to you. You don't have to be a gambler. You choose to be. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You choose to be. Don't go blaming God when the most high God gives us free will. Again, I understand a lot of people won't like this because the truth hurts. The truth of self hurts. All right, we cannot continue to blame so-and-so and this person and that person. It ain't their fault that you chose to destroy your life. Yeah, did they, did they have a hand in it? Okay, of course. But at the same time, they didn't put no gun up to your head and say, hey, when you grow up, I want you to destroy your life because you hold on to pain that happened to you in your childhood. No, it is time to let it go. What's done is done. What happened, happened. And there's no taking it back. And until you all find and muster up that courage to forgive and to heal thyself, you all will remain stuck. I get it. Addiction is terrible. I, I literally almost lost my fucking life to addiction. Literally killing myself day in and day out because I was running from my past. I was running from my childhood. Everything that people have done to me, everything that people have done to harm me, the abuse that I had suffered, whether it's sexual, mental, emotional, uh, physical, I was using that all, I was using all of that as a crutch to not deal with self, to not go within, to not face it. You all, and, and, and see, that is why many of you are now in this current season of cleaning everything up, cleaning up the mess that you have made in the seasons of your, of your bondage. From the seasons of when the devil had you all in a chokehold. You don't have to remain there. I'm letting you know you don't have to remain there. You are fully capable to do what it is that you want to do. Yes, it may take a little time. Nothing, nothing great happens overnight. Nothing great occurs overnight. Every good thing takes time. So be patient with yourself. Love yourself. A lot of you are still in these addictions because you don't love yourself. If you loved yourself, you wouldn't be trying to kill yourself slowly. Now, I'm going to give it to you real and raw, live and direct. I can't, I can't sugarcoat nothing. I got to be hard on y'all for y'all to get it. Hell, I, I needed somebody to be hard on me. The most high was hard on me. That's how I had to get it. That's how I learned. And that's how I was able to rise above. 
In the same way in which I was saved, the same way in which I was given grace and mercy, is the same grace and mercy that is available to you. But you just have to reach out and seek it. Ain't nothing gonna come to nobody. Nothing is going to fall into anyone's lap. I don't care who you think you are. You must do the work. You must heal. That's what addiction boils down to. You're holding on to your brokenness. You're holding on to the traumas. You're holding on to what so-and-so did to you. And it's time to free yourself of that. In order to forgive, or in order to live a, a very, very beautiful, prosperous, abundant life, you must forgive those who have transgressed against you. Because the longer and the more you hold on to that junk, the longer you will remain in this funk, in this addiction. Addiction. <clears throat> so, I just want you guys to know that it is really up to you. You have the choice. The choice is yours. It's time to stop blaming everybody else. It's not everybody else's fault. I know you guys are suffering. I know you're going through spiritual attacks. I know people have harmed you and betrayed you. But what you are subjecting self to is self doing, not anyone else's. You are subjecting yourself to this. No one else. When you decide to make the choice that enough is enough and you're going to set down, set down all the addictions at the feet of the Most High and run, run, run from them. I mean, run. I mean, you better become a track star. You better take off. I'm serious. Run from it. And only then will you become free. Peace, love, and light. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend, family member, loved one, spouse, whatever. Anyone that you know that is still dealing with addiction. All right, I want you to share this video with them, please. There are many, many people who need to hear these messages because they feel lost, they feel broken, they feel forgotten, they feel as if they are left out from the most highs blessings and abundance and the prosperity and the healing that is offered to us if only we just seek it nothing and i mean nothing falls into our laps we have to seek it you seek and you shall find and with that said i pray that today many souls will be freed from the bondage of addiction whatever that addiction may be i pray and i decree and declare that you will be free today but you must you must set it down and you must run from it. Run from it with all your life. Then and only then will you become free.